if I may enlighten the good general, the clear differentiation between a public officer and a private individual. Gen the um, Secretary Abalos is a public officer and therefore he is governed under Republic Act 6713. KOJC is a private organization and therefore it cannot be governed by Republic Act 6713, especially in this Correct. case, Your Honor, that there is gross violation of the law being committed by the highest officer who is supposed to implement all laws concerning interior and local government matters. That is an illegal act, Your Honor, and therefore it is within the right of a private organization to raise money to identify this particular person who raised money in order for Pastor Apollo Siquibuloy to be arrested because it is illegal for any government officer to accept money from private persons, Your Honor. So if the person, if KOJC would react, it is with it is, can he cite a law that would that we violated? Uh, if I may respectfully suggest that we also discuss in tandem the 20 million peso reward offered by KOJC as announced by the good CEO Nelida Lisada, sir, of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ for the information on the identity of the person who provided this 10 million. And uh, two days ago, what was said actually is uh, they want information as to those People they accuse of plotting to kill the the uh, the fugitive Mr. Apollo Kibuloy. So, if I may suggest reiterate the suggestion that uh, in discussing the 10 million peso reward of uh, that the the ILG had uh, announced, offering it to people who will uh, give information leading to the arrest of Mr. Kibuloy, uh, we also discussed the 20 million peso reward offered by the KOJC as announced by our resource person, the CEO of Kingdom of Jesus Christ, Miss Nelida Lisada. It Your is Honor, now available on the internet, sir. Yes, Thank sir. you, sir. If I may answer, Your Honor, uh, if I may enlighten the good general, the clear differentiation between a public officer and a private individual. Gen the um, Secretary Abalos is a public officer and therefore he is governed under Republic Act 6713. KOJC is a private organization and therefore it cannot be governed by Republic Act 6713, especially in this Correct. case, Your Honor, that there is gross violation of the law being committed by the highest officer who is supposed to implement all laws concerning interior and local government matters. That is an illegal act, Your Honor, and therefore it is within the right of a private organization to raise money to identify this particular person who raised money in order for Pastor Apollo Siquibuloy to be arrested because it is illegal for any government officer to accept money from private persons, Your Honor. So if the person, if KOJC would react, it is with it is, can he cite a law that would, that we violated? Your Honor, I did not know when that was actually decided by the KOJC. I only learned it thereafter. But when I assessed, oh, ano pa? Wala silang batas na nilabag. Oh, eh yun sila kasi, governed sila ng Republic Act 6713. Public official sila. Hindi nila pwede apply yung RA 6713 sa private persons. Yun lang po. Thank you. And uh, to add to that, no, uh, the money that is being offered as a reward to the pain peace most was most wanted criminals. Sabi mo kayo na, number one dyan si Radulan Sahiron. It is not coming from private individuals. Sa it comes po. from the GAA. It's, uh, the fund is coming from the GAA. Government yes, money yan. Hindi yan uh, private money coming from private individuals. So, ito nga, si Radulan Sahiron na napakaraming pinatay through his uh, terrorism acts ang daming napatay ito na mga tao, ang daming na kidnap. We expect na sana yung mga mga tao rin na concerned sa terrorism ay mag-contribute din ng pera no para lalaki yung uh, reward kay kay Radulan Sahiron. Eh bakit na po, mas marami pa tang nag uh, 
nagbulunter ng pera para mahuli si Pastor Kibuloy. Pera Secretary Abalos, 10 million coming from private uh, individuals. So, yun, ang pera na yan is nanggagaling sa gobyerno, hindi from uh, private individuals.